Shawnee, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I have my February favorites for you guys. It's been a couple months since I've done a favorites video. I was wrapping up my best of 2016 last month, which is why I didn't do an actual January favorites. But this month I have a lot of amazing products. Some of them are really new to my collection. Some of them are rediscovered favorites. I have a really good mix of stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Starting off with eye favorites, there is one palette that I've been loving for a few months now. It's a palette that I don't think is available anymore, unfortunately, but I did want to mention it in case Colored Rain decides to bring it back. It's the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. This is a palette I already did a full in-depth review video on, so I'll go ahead and link that below for you guys. But in case you guys haven't seen it, it is a beautiful, beautiful, warm-toned palette. It has these really beautiful foiled shadows mixed in with these amazing beautiful mattes. The quality of pretty much every single color in here is just stand out. If you guys want to know more information and see full palette swatches, definitely check out my review video. My next eye favorite is yet another eyeshadow palette and it's rare that I have more than one eyeshadow palette in a favorites video but because I've been loving the Queen of Hearts for so long, I did want to mention this palette which is a newer palette to my collection but I have been obsessed with it. It is by a new indie brand called Persona Cosmetics and it is the Persona I identity palette. This is by a new indie brand that was started by a fellow YouTuber and Instagrammer, Sona Gasparian, I believe is how you pronounce her name. And she has a similar skin tone to mine. I believe she's Indian, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but she does have a similar complexion with these beautiful brown eyes. And she created this eyeshadow palette specifically made for brown eyes. The palette itself does have equal mattes and shimmers in it, and I love the fact that the matte shades are all of the matte shades you would want to be matte. So you have a highlight, you've got a transition, actually a couple transitions, you have some darker matte colors to kind of smoke out if you want, and then you have these beautiful like shimmery shades that work all over the lid. The actual quality of the shadows in this palette are absolutely excellent. The shimmers are so smooth, super metallic, no fallout on the eyes. The mattes are really blendable and pigmented. I really, really love this palette. It's a great price too. I actually posted a bathroom selfie on Instagram, which is something I don't do very often, but this picture actually got the most likes that any of my Instagram pictures have ever gotten. So you guys really seem to like the look or I don't know, maybe just the aesthetic of the picture, but this is the only palette I used for my eyeshadow in that look and I absolutely love the way it turned out and also just in case you guys are curious the lip color I'm wearing in that picture is the Lonely Planet liquid lipstick in the shade night out and I was actually going for a girls night out when I did this look so I figured this was the perfect liquid lipstick to wear and I loved it. I love the way the whole look came together. My final eye favorite is a new eyeliner, and I don't believe I've mentioned this eye pencil on my channel yet, but it's something that I loved so much. I actually went and picked up a couple of backups of it when Maybelline was 40% off at Rite Aid last week. This is the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny Gel pencil and this is basically a black eyeliner it comes in an automatic plastic pencil so you don't have to sharpen it but the best thing about this eyeliner is that it's super black it is super super creamy it is a really nice gel texture but more than anything the actual tip of the pencil is so so thin it almost reminds me of something like the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil in terms of the actual size of the pencil itself. And the pro to that is it makes it so easy to get on your tight line or your water line. You're not getting black liner everywhere. And because of the gel texture, it just glides on beautifully. It does last really well as well. It does set after it dries. Let's go ahead and move into lip favorites. So I have three different liquid lipstick formulas that are all very different 
different from one another in terms of the texture, the wear, the look on the lips, but they are all some of the formulas that I've been reaching for a lot lately. So the first one is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Liquid Lipsticks. These have been getting a lot of hype on YouTube. Lots of people who don't like the traditional long wearing, fully dry down matte liquid lipstick have really been loving this formula because First off, it comes in a wide range of neutral shades. The consistency is kind of thicker. It's more whipped. It's mousse-like. It goes on really beautifully. And when it dries down, it still leaves a nice, comfortable texture on the lips. Sort of like the Ofra liquid lipsticks is the closest thing that I can think of. And these are just absolutely beautiful. The scent on these is something that I'm obsessed with. It smells like brownie batter like you know when you like whip up like the box homemade boxed brownies and then you just take a whiff of the batter that's what this smells like it smells so good it goes on super opaque it lasts a good amount of time considering it's not drying down completely it will still you know transfer off a little bit but it's got a really decent wear time for what it is, and I do really love this formula. Now, another lip formula, which isn't quite as matte as the Bare Minerals Gen Nude, but it still, in my opinion, is sort of like a liquid lipstick. These are the NARS. What are these even called? The Velvet Lip Glides. This is another formula that I know a lot of people on YouTube have talked about. I actually picked up a little set of these around the holidays. I think there were five or six colors in the set, and this is one of my favorite favorite shades that came in the set and you can actually pick up this color in the full size if you want. This is in the shade Bound and it is a gorgeous pinky neutral nude color. It doesn't have any shimmer in it. It does go on almost like a lip lacquer is sort of what I would describe it as. Fully opaque, kind of glossy and then as it wears it does dry down to more of a satin finish. This is once again a liquid lipstick for those of you guys who do not like the long wear matte liquid lipsticks. These come in a lot of different colors, reds, berries, dark tones, neutrals. This is just one of the most wearable shades in my opinion. And then the final liquid lipstick formula I want to discuss is more of a traditional long wearing dry down matte liquid lipstick. This is a formula I actually already did a review video on and in that review video I was kind of iffy about it but since I did that video quite a few months back there has been a vast shade extension and I do feel like the newer shades are a lot better in my opinion than the original ones were. These are the Jouer long wearing matte lip creams. This shade in particular is in the color Dahlia and this is a shade I picked up because one of my best friends Ashni actually wore this during IMATS. It looked so beautiful on her. It's this amazing like fuchsia purpley pink color with little shimmers in it. It's so, so stunning. It does go on super opaque, slightly moussey. It does dry down pretty much transfer proof and it does last a very, very good amount of time. And I just love this color. I think it's such a unique shade in my collection. I love it. Moving right into face favorites, I have one foundation which I have been completely and totally obsessed with. I don't know if I've talked about this foundation on my channel, but I love it. It is the LC Micro Silk Foundation. This is a liquid foundation that is not new in my collection. I've actually had it probably for about a year now. And just recently I discovered why I love this product so much. This is a foundation for those of you guys who do not like the look of foundation and who aren't particularly looking for a super long wearing, super matte finish. You're just looking for something to perfect your skin, but it doesn't look heavy. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't look cakey at all. This is like a perfect, in my opinion, first date foundation. You know when you want to look perfected, but you don't want to look like you could literally like slice into your face like a cake? This is the perfect foundation to avoid the cakey mess. I love it. The shade I have is golden tan. It matches me absolutely perfectly, so I think that's another reason why I love it. It's not too dark. It's not too light. It's Perfect. This does have a pump on it, and I think I'm about down to here on the bottle. I just kind of shook it up, but I think like when it settles, it's right around here, which is 
close to half of the foundation, which I know, you know, isn't crazy. Most people do use up their liquid foundations, but given the amount of foundation I have in my collection and the amount that I have to choose from, if I can get through half of a bottle of foundation, I am pretty happy and I can say with full certainty, it is a favorite. Moving into cheek favorites, the first one I wanna talk about, this is another product that has been in my collection for quite a few months and I didn't really appreciate it or use it until the past probably two months. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in the shade Champagne Pop. And I purchased this when the whole Champagne Pop shade or product extension came out. I do not have another liquid highlighter in my collection that does what this does. I really like the pump on it because you can control exactly how much you squirt it out. I use about half of a pump. I squirt it on the back of my hand and then I go into it with the tip of my beauty blender and then bounce it onto my cheekbones. I put it a little bit down my nose and my cupid's bow. And this is the highlight I have on my face right now. It's the only highlight I have on my face. I did not top it with any powder. It does give you a really, really nice highlighted look but there's no actual specks of glitter there's no specks of shimmer this combined with like the Elsie foundation if you put this on top of your cheekbones and you use this all over your face it's kind of like that perfect no makeup makeup look and then like I said if I want to glow to the gods I have been using this as a base underneath powder highlights like this one by Jouer this is one of my favorite powder highlighters at the moment this is in the shade citrine and I believe this is the shade that everybody and their mom has been talking about it is a beautiful beautiful kind of like golden peach highlight color super super flattering i've seen really really pale skin tones pull this off as well as darker skin tones and it's perfect for my tan complexion as well these are very very soft highlighters they are a little crumbly i don't know how travel friendly this formula is in particular but it's gorgeous, it's so smooth, it's almost like a foiled shadow, like when you put it on your skin. Alrighty guys, I have one more favorite to talk about and then I have a couple of flops I did wanna mention. So this favorite is a body care favorite and I will be perfectly honest, I am not a high-end body care type person. I don't use fancy shower gel, I don't use fancy body lotion normally, I'm just not that kind of person. Not that there's anything wrong with that kind of person. It's just not what I personally like to invest my money in generally. But I was just having one of those days. It was after a meeting and I ended up going over to the Grove and I walked into Nordstrom and you know when you have something in the back of your mind that you've been wanting to buy, but you know it's ridiculously expensive for what it is. So you always put it off, you put it off, you put it off, and then you just have this breaking point where you feel like, you know what? I just need it. I'm just gonna pull a Kim Kardashian and just buy it. So that's what I did that day. I channeled my inner Kim Kardashian and bought the most ridiculously overpriced body butter and I am so happy with my purchase. This is the Jo Malone Body Creme and it is in the scent Peony and Blush Suede. Every single time I walk by a Jo Malone counter, I always go and smell this and I love it so, so much. So I ended up just splurging and doing it and I love this product. It is the most luxurious body cream I've ever put on. First off, it smells like absolute heaven. It's the best. It's like still a strong scent. It does last on the skin very nicely, which is something I wanted, but it's not overwhelming. It is like a peony, slightly powdery scent. The actual texture of this body cream is really, really moisturizing, but it's not greasy. It's not heavy. A little bit goes a very long way and it makes your skin instantly feel like silk. I've never used any type of body cream or body lotion that literally turns your skin from skin to silk. It's absolute magic. This is a product I don't use on a daily basis. I use it on special occasions, nights out, you know, when you just want to kind of like treat yourself. That's when I use this. I would not use this every day, but it does come in a nice glass like jar. It's very, very heavy. This would be a beautiful gift 
for anybody. So now let's go ahead and talk about a couple of flops. So the first flop I want to talk about is a brow gel. Now I do want to go ahead and preface this by saying I am very picky with my brow gel. I have a lot of brow hair, so I find a lot of times if a brow gel, if the wand of a brow gel pulls out even a little bit too much product, my brow hairs will start looking clumpy. So this is the Zebra Brow Gel by a brand called Pony Cosmetics. This is a brand that I have talked about before because I am completely and totally obsessed with their Pegasus liquid liner. I love their liquid liner. It is, it did make it as one of my best of 2016 eye products and still to this day, I'm using it. I love it so, so much. So I did have high hopes for their brow gel and unfortunately, um, this is a wand that is very, very small. So I thought, oh, that's perfect. You know, you can kind of really get in there and really just get it where you want it. It's a clear gel. There's nothing wrong with that, but the stopper does not pull off enough product off the wand. And the actual formula of this is so liquidy. It's not even really like a gel. It's more like a jelly water. I don't know. I used it a couple times, but every single time I ran it through my brows, my brows looked really glossy, like high gloss. Like I put a glossing product on it, which is not what I wanted. And then just to top it all off, this container actually leaks. Like it's actually leaking right now and it's kind of going everywhere. I don't know if you can see it, but like it's literally like dripping down the sides of the tube. So defective packaging, not a great product. Don't love the wand, don't love the formula. I might just end up tossing this because it's actually a mess right now. And then the final product flop I wanted to mention is a product that I was actually gifted at Generation Beauty. I know this is a product that a lot of people were curious about because there has been some hype surrounding it. So I just wanted to let you know the Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Lip Colors. These in theory are really, really cool. They are a jumbo lip pencil and they glide on super, super creamy. I mean, I'll just show you fully opaque, super, super creamy, vibrant color. I thought these were gonna be amazing. I'll let this set for a bit, and when you rub across it, it does not move, which is amazing. It's almost like a matte liquid lipstick in a creamy pencil format, but the problem with this is, once it dries on your lips, it is so drying. I mean, your lips feel so so dry. If you press your lips together, it's sticky and it will actually start peeling up in places and it'll start flaking off in patches, which is not a flattering look, especially if you're wearing a little bit of like a darker or brighter color like this. You definitely don't want it to look patchy on your lips. And I did wear this a full day. I was out and about and I had to keep looking in the mirror and touching up in the areas that it was patching away because it was not looking very good. It was looking super unflattering. This is pretty much dry now. And if you like rub over it, See, it like doesn't move. It doesn't move at all, which is really, really nice. And I thought that would work so well, but it just didn't. It's patchy, it's flaky, it fades away on the inner portion of your lips so quickly. So you get that ugly butthole lip thing. Just no go on this, unfortunately. I had high hopes, but mm didn't love it. So there we have it. Those are all of my faves and flops of February 2017. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and be sure to hit the bell button down below because that will notify you guys whenever I upload a new video. Thank you guys for all of your support on my channel. I really, really appreciate it and I will talk to you guys in my next video on Thursday. I will see you then. Bye!